Why, hello everybody, and welcome back to another video on the Charles channel, and another episode inside of Stampy's A Lovely World. Good morning, nobody! <laughs> it has been a while, actually, since I've recorded season two. I've kind of taken a bit of a, a break um, over the last couple of days, just to kind of recuperate and... and you know, get get a bit uh, better and better headspace. But I'm gonna start the day off by eating my breakfast. Nom 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 nom. And oh, it's clear that Dylan has been here. Uh, follow the breadcrumbs from Doolan. Right. Let's um. Oh, they go that way. Uh, I'll tell you what. We'll, mm, no, we'll follow the breadcrumbs. Uh, that Dylan has uh, seemingly left over. Oh, okay. Here we go. Prize one breadcrumb from the floor. Uh, okay. So it just wants us to go uh back down. Uh, and oh, it's taking us. Around here, down into the doghouse, into Dylan's little area. Um, prize two, whacked weather, uh, waxed weather, or whacked zed weather, uh, weathered co cut copper slab. Cool. Uh, two more prizes at the Love Garden. Go go go. Okay. Well, let's uh, <laughs> let's while we're here. Uh, I oh no, it actually doesn't. Uh, it wants us to go back to the Love Garden. Oh, how silly of it. Right then, let's go to the Love Garden, finally, uh, and add someone brand new. Like I said, it's been a while since I've recorded Lovely World, so I'm just trying to get back in the swing of things. Uh, but today, to Star Stampy's Love Garden, we are going to be adding... And the fly fly and unfortunately i don't actually remember the reason i added you for it's been that long since i last uh did lovely world uh but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put the uh the whatever they made up on screen and i'm gonna do oh no i remember now they made a musical tribute to stampy uh for ending his lovely world and i thought this was incredible uh i actually really like the music and i wanted to know where you got it from and the more and more the statue was developed and built the more and more i thought that looked like stampy so i want to thank you for that darwin uh, uh not the darwin uh the darwin's this one i want to thank you for that fly fly and welcome to the Love Garden. What is going on with my mic? It seems weird. Okay. Follow the crumbs for your final two prizes. Okay. Oh. Uh, psst. In here. Uh, the next prize is close. Uh, look behind. Um, prize three, cake. Yummy. Nom, 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 nom. I don't like cake. Not that much. Uh, and then here we are. Final prize, Dylan. Uh, <laughs> Dylan's bread shop. Five, uh, is that five thousand? Five thousand dollars per loaf. Wow. Well, thank you for that, Dylan. Um, I will um, not go and go in there and go and get that. Um, because we got to get on with today's episode. So let me go to the doghouse now and all. Door out of order. Door out of order. Uh, okay. Let's go to the doghouse now. Uh, go up the stairs. I don't know where. <laughs> this is all a bit confusing. But uh, I'm going to take... Hmm. I'm going to take Pluto with me in this episode. I can't remember uh, who I took with me in the last episode. It's been that long uh, since I did one of these. Um, that I can't remember... Uh, who or what um, I've been taking and, and things like that. Uh, but anyway, we're going to be going back to the town today and we're going to be starting a brand new town build. Uh, we are going to be building a steak uh, house. We're going to be building a steak restaurant. And um, there is going to be a kind of machine inside. And I'm going to try and get this done in two episodes. Uh, it should get done in two episodes, I'm hoping. Um, because it's not actually that difficult. The more and more you look at it, um, the uh, I mean, the building itself is not that difficult. Uh, the redstone... That's where it gets a little bit complicated, but it's going to go right next to the uh, the basket uh, that we've been working on recently. Well, I say working on recently. We built this in Easter time. It's been it's been such a long time since I've been over in this area. Uh, right then, this is where it gets troubling because uh, I've I built this such a long time ago, but I can't remember the. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I can't remember the, the dimensions. Um, hmm. Okay, I think I kind of I usually use a rule of thumb. Blue, if you want to sit down there uh, when I build lovely world builds. Uh, where I just go one, uh, two blocks in, two blocks out. Uh, although in this case, that ain't gonna be the, the case. Uh, right then. Uh, one, two, it's three in, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then it should start there. And then it should be one, two, uh, how am I gonna do this? One, two, three... Uh, four, five... Hold on. Well, okay. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... Eleven... Eleven blocks long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... Uh, ten... 
11, 12. It's 12 blocks long. And then this is just going to do the same thing on this side. So the rule of thumb that I usually use is I usually build the block, uh, the builds two blocks away from each other. So if I go to this blue dandelion, uh, blue dandelion, this blue uh, orchid, and I go two blocks in, one, two, and then I go uh, to here, and then put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then destroy this block. And then, like, if I connect all these points up, that should be uh, the dimensions for the build. That is that took longer than expected. That shouldn't have taken as long as it did because um, I've kind of just like I usually just remember the uh, the stuff for the buildings off the top of my head uh, when I'm recording, and um, I've, it's been that long since I designed this thing uh, that I actually couldn't remember. Uh, right then, this one is a little bit easier. We're gonna go in one, two, three, four, five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna place a sixth block here and then go in one, two, three. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. So we're gonna go in six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three. There we go. And then what that should leave, that should leave uh, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. There we go. Things are starting to line up now. Uh, my brain fires over. So let me grab some more uh, stripped oak, stri uh, stripped oak lag. <laughs> stripped oak logs, and we're gonna go up three from here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. So I'll give you a bit of behind the scenes uh, for designing this build. Uh, this build is originally built out of mangrove stripped logs. Um, so what we what you're seeing now should be mangrove stripped logs. However, um, the more and more I looked at the build and the more and more I was displeased with how it looked, um, the more and more I thought, hmm, that may look better um, with sh stripped spruce logs. And it turns out that it did, uh, which is something I'm really, really happy about. Okay, then. So what we're going to do next is we are going to get some... Uh, oh, what should we do next? Should we do the roof? Um, well, no, we're going to have to really do the walls. That is probably the next big step. Uh, so I'm going to grab this glass quickly. And I'm going to, to start filling in uh, these sections here. If I go in three blocks here, three blocks here, actually, I'm going to leave these two like this. Uh, not that you're actually going to be able to see them because there's going to be walls here. Uh, oh, actually, that shouldn't be there. What we're going to do is I'm going to take this off and place three here. And then take that off and place three there. And then do this. So it's going to kind of be like an air, an overhang entrance. There's going to be a roof that's going to go over this. Uh, and it's going to sit above uh, the entrance for the uh, the shop. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to place three uh, mud bricks on either side. And then place white glass stained uh, panes um, in all of these sections here. And for the side, there is no glass. Because um, I kind of like to keep builds symmetrical. Uh, that's one big thing that you'll see all around the builds that I've done in Season 2. Is that they're usually symmetrical. Um, and if they're not, then I'm really kicking myself, um, after the episode. Um, and that is one thing that I kind of wanted to do with this shop. I wanted to kind of keep it, uh, even. Um, I kind of should explain what the machine in this build does, and I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, but it kind of keeps, uh, everything really looking nice. And especially for this build, because this build is supposed to be a fancy steakhouse. Um, which is really, really fun. Something that a lot of you may not know, though, about steakhouses is that... There are actually, usually, they don't use that great steaks. <laughs> if you've ever been to, like, a steakhouse and uh, you've eaten a steak there, um, I can't I can't really say that I have been to a really, really nice steakhouse, but I have been to restaurants and, uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, they usually just, like, cook normal meat, not expensive meat, unless you go to, like, a really, really posh place. That's the only thing I can think of um, being having an exception there. Uh, but if you go to, like, any steakhouse... That is usually what you'll see. You'll usually just see them cooking, like, I don't know, out of packet frozen steaks. And that's kind of the idea of this um, this steakhouse. It's going to kind of be a really, really posh and nice looking steakhouse. Um, but on the actual inside, um, it is not going to be uh, the nicest place. We can say that. Okay, then. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to make a crafting table now. And I'm going to start making some slabs. Uh, luckily, we're in a nicely lit area, so no googlies are spawning. Uh, when we were building the, um, the shopping list building, uh, minigame, that, uh, <laughs> that really, uh, the, the amount of googlies there was really, uh, really did shock me. Uh, especially after the episode when we had to go and clear up all the creeper holes and stuff like that. But uh, what we're going to do here 
is we're just gonna go around the build. Uh, tell you what we could do. We could do this with the mud bricks. Um, actually, there it's not gonna work. Because uh, there's gonna be a ceiling here. Uh, but what we could do... Actually, it's not gonna work anywhere. Uh, what could be easier then? Is if I just went and grabbed some spruce planks. And just placed them all around the build like this. And then I could just place slabs on the outside. That could be probably a lot easier for me. Uh, to work on this build then. Uh, so let me go and place all of these blocks around. Is Pluto up and uh, up and moving around? Pluto? I don't know. I thought I just saw a blue dog armor. Uh, by the way, someone in the comment section mentioned to me that the dog's armor is getting damaged. And I haven't actually realized that until now. Uh, so what I'm planning to do is probably in the next couple of episodes, uh, I'm going to get some armadillo scoots outside of the episode. And I'm just going to go and uh, heal up the dog's armor. Um, because I don't want it exactly to be low. Uh, and all oh, this is actually I don't know why I did this for because this has got to come out uh, this section here because it's going to be mud bricks uh, all exposed on this side uh, coming up. So what I'll just do now is I'll just place a new set of mud bricks in there and then we will go out like this. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to keep going up with the slabs until we hit the middle. And oh, I've just fallen down. Uh, I really should be making some ladders, but I'm not going to bother. So if I come up here and I keep going up and out one, up and out one. Up and out one. I think that would be the middle. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, four, five. Oh. Um, that is not how it should be. <laughs> uh, let me just try do this. So if I go up now, and hopefully it will all line up like that. There we go. That's what we wanted. Uh, so we've got a nice middle uh, section here. And then the same thing is going to happen on the other side. Uh, so we're going to go over to here. And go like this. And actually bring this out one more. Uh, and the same thing's going to happen here, by the way. And I'll quickly do this one uh, instead. So we're going to go in and up. And then do the same thing on this side. Big jump. There we go. Uh, in, up, in, up, in, up, in, up. And then what I'm going to do is we probably won't get the entire outside finished in this episode. Uh, but outside of episode, what I'll do is I'll go in and I will, uh, I will finish it all off. Uh, so in the next episode, we can get nice and busy uh, with the inside of the build. But I'll tell you one thing we could do. We could just frame off all the roof. Um, actually, we might get it done in this episode. I'm, I'm not too not too sure. We are, we've not got that. We've got a lot of time left. We've got about seven minutes left of this episode approximately, uh, which is a good thing uh, for you guys especially. Uh, so what I'm going to do is place the slabs in down here just so I can get uh, just enough about uh, uh, just enough room. And all that needs to come in one and then down one. And then this will uh, level off right like this at the back. So let me go along and place all of these slabs and all. Not one there, Charles. Uh, and place all of these slabs along uh, the back of this wall. Just so we can have a nice um, and, like, really fancy-looking modern build. Um, it's kind of um, it's kind of a sticking-out uh, thumb in this area. Uh, I mean, there are a couple builds that, are, that really do stick out in this area. Um, for example, uh, f the fast food... Uh, that one, and uh, Fancy Pants. No, that's not Fancy Pants. That's Stupendous Stew, I think. I just did a tour recently. I don't understand why I can't remember the build names again. Uh, but it's okay. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to try and finish this roof off, and then we'll call it a day, I think. Um, my voice is already getting a little bit sore, but I haven't recorded in a while, so I'm going to blame it on that. Uh, I have taken a large break uh, just from YouTube. Uh, I recorded a lot in advanced, um, and I've still got quite a few episodes from the time I'm recording this. Um, so I don't actually need to worry still about Lovely World uh, for a while, for like exact, uh, for the time I'm in. Uh, for when you guys are seeing this video, I don't actually know when that's going to be. All I know is that it's not in June, which is when I'm recording it. Uh, it should be in like July or August, uh, the latest, um, which is a bit fun actually. It's, it's good to get some mystery. The only problem that I think uh, is bad about pre-recording my videos in so far in advanced is the Love Garden, because... People that submit a submission, you know, so for example, Fly Fly or Darwin have, they're going to have to wait until June to see it, where they get submitted it in, like, July, uh, uh June, sorry. Um, I can't remember what I said, so I'm going to say that again, just because I don't think I got my words out correctly. Uh, for the people that have submitted their, like, submissions for the Love Garden, like, June, you're going to have to wait until, like, the end of July uh, to see yourself in the Love Garden, which does fill me with a little bit of, like, disappointment. Because I am, I do, like, kind of feel bad. Because I am adding you to the love garden. I am seeing all your hard work. It's just, you, you're not getting your moment at the time. Because it's easier for me to record a lot further in advanced. Um, so, 
Like, I don't have to, you know, sit and wait for, uh, for videos to be finished, uh, or, like, got to finish and wait for all of the videos to come out before I can record a new one, because that's not really how I, I film Lovely World. I just kind of film it when I feel like it, and, um, yeah. So I'm going to make some more slabs quickly, and then what we're going to try and do is just try and get this roof finished, because it is already, it is already being really painful. Uh, I hate doing things like this on camera. I prefer to do it off camera a lot more. Uh, just because I don't actually need to worry about commentating and building at the same time. Uh, but of course, I love what I'm doing. I love I love like uh, making videos for you guys. And I'm not going to give it up uh, for the world. So don't worry too much about me. Um, I am doing great. Uh, that This break has really uh, motivated me to come back and um, and do more Lovely World. Um, which is uh, a good thing. Um, because like uh, after I'd recorded those, uh, those big string of episodes, I was feeling super demotivated. Um... But don't worry, I am back now uh, from my break. Um, so I'm hoping you guys are going to like an... Oh, I tell you what. We went on a good streak there where it didn't rain in Lovely World. That is, um, that's pretty impressive. Um, it's the, well, ever since we moved or ever since uh, Dylan uh, used his contraption to kind of um, break Lovely World, um, it's, been, it's been a lot more calmer, you could say. I haven't really seen much of Hit the Target. Um, I haven't seen much of anything, really. I've not seen much of the rain. No. I've seen a lot more googlies. That's one more thing. Uh, but I am feeling a lot more... Um, I'm trying to think of the word. Uh, a lot more comfortable in Lovely World than I was um, however many months ago. But I think that's the roof done. Oh, no. We're missing a whole strip here. Uh, let me just quickly go and place uh, a strip of light. Uh, I, should, I said a strip of lightning then. A strip of slabs there. And then hopefully that should be the outside done for now. Uh, I don't really know what else I can do. I guess I can make some fences and put it on the front. The only other thing I can think of doing is putting the mangrove leaves at the front as well. We only need a couple of them. They only go down these sections here. Uh, so I'll place them now. And then what we'll do is I'll go inside, light it up. Uh, and then hopefully I'm going to have some helpers joining me in the next episode. They're still on holiday. They haven't come back yet. I, I told them a specific date when they're supposed to come back. And um, so we can re start recording again. And they didn't come back. But there we go. Uh, as you can see, this is the inside. It's looking nice. It's looking nice. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do now, though. I'm going to quickly clean up the front of this, uh, of the front of the steakhouse. And I've not actually got a name for it. I was thinking of calling it, like, the, the, the super steakhouse or something like that. But then I thought, that's kind of simple. And I, I, I usually like to blow up, like, make big names and funny names and, and like, things that uh, you guys will enjoy. But there we go. Uh, all we're going to do now is just uh, detail this roof a little bit more. Uh, just place some slabs inside, uh, like this, and then we'll go and place, get some fences, and put some fences in here, uh, just to armor it off a bit more, and then I think we're going to call it the episode, um, this has been a nice first episode back for me, uh, after my little, um, holiday that I had, and how do I make fences again, is it like, is it like this, um, I'm hoping it's like this and all, the blocks are not blocking today, guys, there we go, that's all the, that's all the fences I should need, uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out these three, Place that one back and do the same thing here. So place this one, get rid of that one, place this one. And then we just place a layer of fences in uh, like this. And there is all, um, that is all she told. Um, there you go. That is kind of the idea uh, or the outside of this build. This build also just finished off a column that I've been meaning to finish off for a while on this row of the town. Um, and speaking of extending the town... Uh, we do have a lot of space back there, but we don't have many spaces for restaurants. So what I'm thinking of planning to do is uh, take down this terrain here and flatten it all off and, and drain all of this and make a really nice, uh, like, lower section of the town. Because uh, we haven't really had one of them for a while. But there we go. Uh, that is the uh, the start of the um, steakhouse uh, that you guys are going to get to see uh, us develop and build over the next couple of episodes. I want to thank my good friend Pluto for joining me in this episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. A brand new Lovely World video will be on your screens very, very shortly. So make sure you do not miss out on that because it's going to be a good one. Uh, but I've been Charles. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode inside of Stampy's Lovely World. And I will see you all later.